at 150,000 square feet, this place is three times the size of an out-of-town British supermarket. We're back in Las Vegas and this shop is humongo phantasmagorically enormous. It's a Bass Pro, one of three big chains that dominate American hunting and shooting shopping. Opinion is divided as to whether Cabela's, Gander Mountain or Bass Pro is the best shop. They are certainly popular. The Cabela's in both Kansas and Minnesota rank amongst the top tourist destinations in both of those states. And they get more than twice as big as the one in Las Vegas. Bass Pro's shop in Missouri is a third of a million square feet. That's the same size as six football pitches or the whole of the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. British gun shops are traditionally pokey little things stuck down back streets, but this is America. I am off to see a gun shop owner whom I met hunting driven wild sheep in Germany. He runs a gun shop that's small compared to Bass Pro, but offers a warmer and more friendly service. And it is still twice the size of any UK gun shop. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Nice to see you. Nice, nice to see, see you again. again. So, um, you call this a bit of a tiddler? Uh, it's fair size, fair size. Four, four around here. We're, we're pretty big here, but there, there are bigger stores. So. Can you show me around? Yeah, sure. Come on. Louisiana is hurricane country, and when Hurricane Katrina hit nearby New Orleans, it caused both spectacular devastation and billions of dollars of damage. It was, however, a bonanza for Jim. So, Jim, Hurricane Katrina was a relatively exciting time for you here in Louisiana. Oh, indeed, indeed. Lots, lots of unrest. Uh, it was very, very busy for us. Uh, it was a very crazy time. When you say it was very busy, I mean, what was the shop like? Before you could buy your firearm and leave with it about anywhere from six to eight hours for three days. What, a six to eight hour queue yes. for three days? Exactly. So how many guns did you sell in that time? Uh, hundreds and hundreds. Literally, we had one person doing nothing but calling in background checks. Uh, we had distributors coming in with literally truckloads of guns and ammunition. And why did everybody want these guns? Uh, it was a time of unrest. Uh, people were uh, fearful and they were looking for security. Also, a lot of military, uh, police, fire department lost all their guns underwater. So not only you have civilians coming in, but you also have your local uh, police departments, fire departments, things like that, buying guns, ammunition, holsters, cleaning supplies. Just everything went underwater so quickly. Now, you've also got some fun stuff here, haven't you? Oh, yeah. We've got something uh, really unique that I'm sure a lot of people would like to see. It's a, a 410 revolver. Oh, can we look? Oh, yes, go. So, Jim, just precisely what is that? Well, basically, these are two Taurus 410 revolvers. And uh, this one right here um, will shoot the 410 and the 45 Long Colt. Okay. And what is very popular here uh, for a snake gun. Uh, crawfish farmers, uh, things like that, uh, deer hunters during the summer that are maintaining their land, they like this to dispatch snakes. Snakes. What sort of snakes do you get here? Uh, let's say it's a big water moccasin. Big water moccasin. Yeah. I hate that. Now you want two hands on this one. Yeah, I almost came out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to hit snakes in a kind of four foot radius. Well, that's it. You, you did miss, and you even put some right in the X room. I, I got, yeah, look at that. Four, yeah. four shots, four in the middle. <laughs> four pellets in the middle. And quite a lot on the outside as well. Well, a big snake. It's a, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, exactly. right. Disguised as a man. There you go. <laughs> of course, all the staff hunt. I dove hunt, duck hunt, squirrel hunt, deer hunt, um, coyote. Sometimes um, I've hog hunted. Um, I think that's about it. That's pretty well more animals than we have in the UK. <laughs> yeah, just about everything. Um, well, did, you, did you grow up doing this? Uh, ever since I was about ten. And is this is this normal for a, for a Louisiana girl? Um, it's somewhat normal. Have you ever shot a gator? Um, no, I have not. I've caught one though. You caught one. I've caught one. In your bare hands. Um, I I was fishing one day and I was reeling in my spinnerbait and it snapped my line and I reeled it in and I caught it. <laughs> it was about five foot long. <laughs> Self-defense is a major theme of American gun shops. 
In the UK, we have all but forgotten about sidearms following the restrictions which came in 15 years ago. Jim gives me a refresher course. Nine, eight, but those, those must be mine now. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, he's down. It's the first time in a long time you've yeah, probably shot him. Yeah, exactly. Him. 15 years. He's out. He's, 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 he's crawling away. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather it was as a rabbit target, actually, still. <laughs> with the London Olympics coming up and Britain in with a chance for shooting medals, with handgun crime rising massively in the wake of the handgun laws, surely now is the time for the British government to start relaxing restrictions on handgun ownership in the UK. security is, is, you can't even get the barrel.